and welcome back to Mike's Auto Channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, um, I'm working on my car. Um, we're going to be replacing the brake pads, rotors um, on each side. Um, as you can see, I brought my part offline. $46 for the brakes and the rotors. Uh, I got my fuel tools I'm going to be using. 19 millimeter for the um, the wheels to get the wheels off. Uh, as you can see, I got my jack jacked it up in the air. Of course, you got to put safety stands on it, but I'm not. I'm just going to take two of the tires off and do them at the same time. Caliber brackets. We're going to get them off, and we're going to get the um, we're going to get the calibers off. Okay. 19 to take the the wheel nut. Off. bolts and the screws together okay got the tires off as you can see um get a screwdriver excuse me about the noise of kids on my knees um get a big screwdriver wedge it and kind of bring it close to you and you'll, you'll feel it going in and as you can see i got my 12 millimeter Ratchet, ratchet, and wrench. I broke them loose. And they just simply come out. I just put the bolts with the um, nuts down. I got me a bolt tray pan, but I don't have time today. And it's simply just pull it back and out. I don't want it to hang like that. Accidentally, just hang it over there in the corner. I go One and a half inch socket. Really break it loose. Anything on the top? Everything. I say put the bolts with the boat, all the bolts together. And make sure your slide pins move back and forth. If they don't, um, take them out, put anesthes on them, and try to put them back in and see if they move back and forth. But if they don't, replace replace the pins. As you see, the um, the whole caliber came out with the brake pads. They all the way shot. I should have had new clips to come with it as well. But they all the way shot. But if you um, if y'all first timers. This is what I do for the brake pads. See, this is the front. Put the front right there and take it out and put the um the next one on the side so you can know that one came from the back and this one came on the front. Okay. Okay, now I'm about to um, open my box. Brake pads and rotors. Prime choice. Very good parts.
is. Oh, wow, how did I have it? Oh, damn, box cutter came on. I'll get that later. That's crazy. I mean, the whole box cutter came to loop. Set of pairs. Set of rotors. I don't think some rotors um come with you don't have to clean them, but um this one we're gonna um we're gonna set it like that. We're gonna spray some brake cleaners, park cleaners on it. We're gonna uh, some mineral sprints, sprints, whatever that shit calls. And then take a really I want to use a um towel, but I ain't got that so. I ran out and I'm just cleaning up. See, it leave a lot of red stuff, so I'm just gonna spray it the next time. And we're gonna bring it over here. Take the old one off. Put the new one on. Okay, um, now as y'all can see, I got my C-clamp so I can um, push the piston back in the bore. And I have an old brake pad on it. And so I can film at the same time. Let's put it down so y'all can see it. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I'm trying to post it up right here for y'all can see. As you can see, I got my um, piston and I got my old brake pad on top of it and I'm, I'm just pushing that piston right now. That's all I'm doing. Pushing it now. See the piston going down? Push it as far as it could go to it stop. I should have had my brake fluid open. All right, and then take them, take it back off the C-clamp, and put your brake pad where it came off at. For the um, starters, this um, was your first brake pad, and this this was the one that came in the back. So, I think I should have had shop towels because I ain't want that red stuff on the, the rotor. And to keep the rotor still, all you got to do is um, put one of your lug nuts on, like so. Now, we're going to simply put the bracket back on. With our two bolts. Get your um, half inch socket ratchet. Simply tighten it back up. Make sure it's snug, no, do not over tight.
Hit the top one again, snug it. Spray the um, caliber again. I meant the um, brake rotor. Get some of that stuff off. And the clips. New brake pads. Like as you can see, um, the one facing this way, I mean, really, um, it could go this way, the one facing that way, it came off the back with um, the indicator. Simply push in just like that, like so. And the next one, well, that's the indicator. One got indicator on both sides. All y'all gotta do is match it up like this. And like so. Brand new brakes and rotors. Um, and simply. Push them pins in for your caliber can go on. Put your caliber bolts back in. Get your um, 12 millimeter wrench, tighten that down. Not too tight. Do your torque inspection in your brain, tighten it down. <sighs> there you go. Simply put the wheel back on, remove your um, lug you had on it, to hold the rotor. Simply turn the wheel straight. Ah. And put your wheel back on. And that's all it took. Changing your pads on the car. See, I actually got get um I have the um or the two hubs for this car. Um, hopefully I do a video on them, how to change your hub bearing. Let's see, I'd be too busy. I can't record everything. If you got the benefits of an air tool impact, as you can see, I have a um, battery impact. Tighten down. Put your cap back on, center cap, and you all done. That's all is to it. Um, and changing your brake pads on the car. Um, this is my car, Malibu. It's the only car I have right now. Um, but um, yep, that's it. Um, and always um, remember, um, please subscribe and like. Um, and you can always um, find me on Facebook, Seaport Bike Breezy. Um, and I will see y'all guys on the next. All right, thank you. Bye.